Hi guys! I'm going to do a 10 month HRT update and I'm also going to do a work update. I have been at work for one week and one day and I've been on HRT for 10 months. So it's been such a crazy ride for me. Everything is just kind of like getting put together and I am so excited to just be alive. I'm excited to be alive. I'm excited to be alive. <laughs> Can you hear that coming out of my mouth? It's crazy. Like, I want to be here. <laughs> yay! Like, yay me, finally. I need to be happy for once because, holy shit, this has been a rough ride for me. I'm, like, finally feeling normal for the first time in my life. It just took one week of being out. One week. And now I'm just, like, yeah, girl. Like, I'm feeling like fucking Wonder Woman. <laughs> and I just, like have all these like I'm getting all these feels <laughs> like wow like you guys it's insane like I can't ever even like think about going back ever like it's just been so great and like my confidence is through the roof I had a little bit of a weekend break from like makeup which takes forever for me but having that little break I was like oh like I just want to be like in girl mode and the second it hit Monday, I was like ready for it again, and I felt so good. I wore this like cute top because I went shopping on Friday after work, and I got a lot of clothes. Like I know what I want now, but this is one of the shirts, and it's super soft. It just feels like a nice like fuzzy blanket, and I love it. And I felt so good, and it, like you can see the pictures I posted earlier, but I can put one up here. So yeah, that's what I wore today, and. Oh my gosh, I felt so cute. It was like the cutest I've ever felt in my entire life. And yeah, I'm just, mm, I can just tell everything's changing and the HRT is doing its thing. So I'm going to like talk about like what that's doing too. But first I'm going to talk about like work. So I am just walking down the hallway like with my head held high and my boobs out and my butt out and I'm not being too like crazy, but I'm just being a girl like all the rest and I am wearing my purse and I just like really like put that whole thing together. Like my dreams are coming true, you guys. Like they're coming true. Like, oh, uh, you can do it. <laughs> you can do this. And because I made it out of that stupid fucking hole of being in the closet. Like, oh my God, you guys, like it's just, mm. <laughs> It feels so good, and also, like, I am rocking my nails all the time, so, like, oh my gosh, I love this color, too. <laughs> like, it's just, everything is just coming together, and I get to use my, um, like, the women's restroom, so that's been really awesome. Not my own restroom, I use any restroom I want, so it's been great. It's nice because I work third shift, so there's not that many women in there, so I can kind of like have the place to my own. And then once the morning rolls around, like 7 a.m., I just kind of like don't use it as much because I'm just not there yet, but I will be. But I just kind of like avoid it when I know there's a bunch of people in there, especially people I've known for a long time. So I'm not at that stage yet, but I totally will be. I already know. I'm going to be like super happy about it. I'm like, hey, girl. Um, can you help me with this? I already know, but that's happening. And my, like I said it before, my name is everywhere. I just see E R I N all over the place, and I even see outside of work now. Like I'm just, I think I'm just like exuding a feminine energy because I go somewhere and they just spell E R I N on everything, and they don't even say he that often. So that is such a relief because I don't even have makeup on, but I'm just like, hmm. Is from I think it's just from work. Like work is gonna like change me, and I'm just gonna be like radiating feminine energy everywhere I go. So I'm I'm so happy about that because it's just gonna make everything so much easier for me in life. And I still have to come out the family. I haven't done that yet, but that's just that's next. But one step at a time because right now I'm like rocking my life. <laughs> So, yeah, that's the work thing. I've been very, like, active about posting about it. So, if you guys want to see, like, a couple of my earlier videos, just watch those. Um, I was, like, ecstatic to come out at work. 
And um, another update is my earrings. I am almost ready to get these out. It's almost been three weeks, so I can, like, change them. I'm, like, super excited about it. They're, like, they're so cute. But I am ready to put some hoops in. Because <laughs> that's just going to make me, I feel I'm, like, dangling when I walk. And I know everyone can see them. And they're going to be, like, really classy and nice. And I'm just excited about that, too. <laughs> that's, like, a whole other level. And that's coming up. This one kind of, like hurts a little bit still which is kind of concerning but right now it doesn't so I was gonna wait until it stops hurting and then I'll just switch them out but yeah so that's next for me and then yeah and I'll be a whole new woman with those earrings rocking okay so now we're gonna switch subjects I'm gonna go to HRT so 10 months you guys I've been on it for 10 months and I've been on Spiral Lactone for longer, like probably like, I think a year now. I'm on a year of Spiral Lactone, a year off of stupid ass fucking testosterone. Let's try that again. The stupid ass testosterone. <laughs> That's so crazy. Like, no wonder I feel better. Like, that shit sucked. I hated testosterone so much. And I didn't even know it until I started like actually taking this medicine. I was like, oh my God, like it's gone. All that shit's gone. Like, I felt like, I felt like it was a poison in my body. And I felt, like, gross. And I felt, like, super sexual. And the second I was off of it, I'm like, oh, like, I don't need to have sex all the freaking time. Like, it doesn't need to be this way. And, yeah, it's so funny because I just don't like it. I don't like to think about that all the time. And I don't like to feel like an animal. Like, I literally feel like testosterone is, like, you're an animal. And... I get we are animals, but I don't want to, like, feel like one all the time. Like, I don't want to go, like, I don't want to feel like I need to, like, jump on a girl and, like, have sex and that's it. Like, I actually want to, like, love and feel emotion and just have, like, all those curly feelings. And, yeah, one year, you guys. One year. And I'll be saying one year about estradiol, too, like, soon. So, right now I'm at 10 months. And it's been a lot. And... My boobs are just getting bigger and bigger. I don't know if you can even, you can't tell at all, but I'm like a B cup right now. So they just like, mm. yeah, there you go. But yeah, they're like awesome. Like I can't get enough of them. And I hope, I hope, I know they're growing because I can feel it like hurt still like every couple of weeks. And that just means that they're growing. And I hope to God that I get to a C cup because, oh my gosh, this is going to be so nice because I love them now. I can't even imagine when they're a C cup. So, can't have too high a high of hopes, but I just said too high high of hopes. Too high high of hopes. <laughs> That's funny. You can't have too high of hopes because usually it stops right then. So, I'm very fortunate. And maybe one day I'll get breast implants. I don't know. But right now, I just love how they are. They're like my own, like, my own body grew them, so they are mine, and I don't really want anything fake right now. I just want my own stuff. The only thing I'd probably want fake is this nose gone, because HRT doesn't really solve that problem. <laughs> so that'll probably be, like, something I do later, but much later. I'm going to wait for the HRT to be, like, completely through. So another update with the HRT um, I've noticed is I don't have to shave, like, hardly at all, like, on my lower body. I still, my face is still really annoying, but my lower body is not that bad. Like, I don't even think about shaving. I'm like, oh, I'll just shave like once. I do like once a week, but sometimes it's like once in every like week and a half, which is so crazy for me because I used to shave like every like three days or every two days and it was so much growth and yeah, you guys, it's nice to not have to do that and still like, oh, I just feel awesome. Like... My skin's soft, and it just feels so, like, comfy, and I just feel so good, and I love it. That The skin part's so nice and reassuring. It makes you feel so girly. So, like, I shave my arms, but after I shave them, I don't have to, like, do anything after a while. Like, it just doesn't grow back as much, so it's so, like, cool. Like, ah, uh, you guys, that's awesome. So... The next thing with HRT is um, probably, like, I noticed, like, right here. Let me just do this. Um, this area right here has, like, gotten, like, more feminine. 
like it's definitely more like a 90 degree angle like before it was like more of a diagonal like you could like see my neck more and I really feel like it's like it just looks a lot girlier than it did before and like I feel really cute <laughs> it's it's that part's cool like I think it's like forming that part differently which I've heard other people say that but I definitely noticed that part and then my like thighs I've been wearing like super skinny jeans right so my thighs like are like nice like I can feel like I can see how like big they are like right up by my groin area they like got like super wide and I can just tell I have more of a curve than I used to I was like super like straight <laughs> It was not so I noticed that and then mental changes I can't really tell anymore about mental because it's just a big mix of everything that I've been doing like just coming out and just being confident and just being able to be myself it's just hard to tell what the mental changes are for HRT right now like I do have some mood swings but it's not like it's more like it's normal now so I really don't notice like in the beginning, I had a lot of noticeable mood swings. I still, like, I guess I still have those really hard cries. I get those still. Like, I'll just, like, really get emotional. Like, and it'll be, like, 120%, like, <laughs> just tears everywhere. And then after I'm done, I feel good. And so I've actually been feeling that the whole time on HRT. So it's not anything different, but I'm still feeling it. So I guess I can say I have that. And... I feel like a woman <laughs> that's the main thing <laughs> I like legit feel like a girl like mm -hmm. it happened like dream come true check <laughs> I can't get enough of it I'm so like I'm too happy like I'm sorry if like I'm too happy on here but it should be a good thing because go look at a couple videos ago I was not like this mm -mm 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 -mm. so and it could happen again. I could have a real bad fall and crash. <laughs> but right now, I am riding this wave of euphoria. <laughs> yeah. And that's really all I have for my 10 months. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. For some reason, I'm not getting to 1,000. Like, I thought I'd be at 1,000 by now, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm so happy to have the people I have watching me, so... Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.